This basically means an unteachable experience. This is how you refer to things like this. And this is a kind of unrelated religion that really likes this. So I sort of always assumed that Gnosis, Gnostic, and Gnosticism were all related variations of the same thing, like minimal, minimalistic, and minimalism. I think I first heard about Gnosticism somewhere, and later heard of Gnosis and Gnostic, and I just put two and two together, you know? Once again, English was doing what English likes to do, which is make no fucking sense sometimes. So here's what's really going on. Gnosis. As a world has forever meant a personal experience that you can't really communicate to someone. They would have to experience it for themselves to understand you. You know how when you're a kid and you can't wait to be an adult and get that delicious freedom, but then you start transitioning into an adult and somehow those bills and responsibilities adulthood springs on you really makes the freedom taste a little less delicious, doesn't it? maybe even makes you miss parts of childhood, like nap time? What if you then shared this revelation with someone young in your life, like a little brother or sister? They would probably hear you, but they would probably not be able to understand until they were in your shoes, no matter how hard you or they tried. That's because the act of aging is a agnostic thing. And youth is wasted on the young. Before knowing this myself, I often struggled with describing something that was inexplicable, which makes sense. <laughs> but there's a word for that, and it's gnosis. And it's about gnostic things, not to be confused with non-stick things. My mom taught me a huge gnostic lesson when I was turning 18, which is the legal age to have alcohol in Mexico. I remember going to celebrate with my friends on my birthday and make it a big day. My mom knew about this and invited me the day before to celebrate, just her and me. I was excited. She had this big bottle of sweet tequila and we had shot together, one after another. It wasn't easy, but I kind of just keep going along with her until we finished the bottle. She stood up, thanked me, and she walked away. But I couldn't stand up. I couldn't even feel my legs. I felt crying and vomiting, asking why my mom made me do this. She looked at me and said, I hope when you're ever out in the future, you will not be able to find your limit and say how you actually feel. Everyone will always try to convince you to keep going, but you really only need to be listened to yourself. Since then, I've always been able to be really clear about my limits when I drink alcohol. Now, on the other hand, Gnosticism is a religion. It's not directly related to the first two words and was instead inspired by them. But as religion often does, it twisted a bit and ultimately overshadowed the original meaning of the root words. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means, but it is a thing. So what about you? Does this kind of thing frustrate the shit out of you too? <laughs> or is there something here you're still curious about? Let us know and we'd be happy to answer it for you. If you want to know more about other parts of mysticism we forgot, watch this video and remember, you stay weird out there. Mm -hmm.